Hello Leo, welcome to your November update reading. Uh, today we're going to be looking into your career and money and then we're going to look into your love and home life and then finally we're going to open up the door for spirit to come through with a message that you need to hear right now. So we're just going to quickly clear your space. There's going to be three loud dings here, okay? Let us begin. I'm going to start with just the Rider Waite deck. Just to get an overall energy of the career and money. So Leo's career and money. How's it going this month? What's the overall theme? Just one card, please. For the overall theme for Leo. Career and money. Great, thank you. Wow, looking good right off the bat. You got nine of cups. So maybe a dream career, a dream job, a dream outcome. Maybe a um, you're beginning to see the kind of start of a dream come true. Or um, maybe you're starting to make the money that you had wished you would hoped that you would make and you're starting to see the yeah like that's starting to happen and or maybe you're you're beginning a, a heart-based project a dream project something you've wanted to do for a long time but either way you're feeling really good I feel like your hopes are really high uh, you're starting to really I feel, feel successful and feel that your dream is actually manifesting so that's a beautiful energy to start. So let's dive a little deeper here. So Leo, a little more information on their career and money. Let's expand on this nine of, Pentac or nine of cups, please. So maybe, yeah, I said nine of pentacles. I mean, it could be, I mean, they're kind of very similar energies, like very, both kind of dreams coming true. Uh, nine of pentacles is like, yeah, creating that wealth, that independence off this dream. So maybe that's happening as well. Let's see. Okay, so you have the nine, uh, seven of swords. You have the hierophant. Yeah, I feel like maybe you're doing something different, maybe different from the traditional. Maybe you're going into a field or you, you have a job or something, but you bring something different to the table um, or what it is that you do. It's like you're bringing something different here than what's traditional, than what maybe people in the past have done with this idea, with this project, with this career, with this job. It's like you you know something different you know something they don't know you have a spice you have a yeah you have something special that they don't, didn't have or that they just didn't see but you see it you're bringing something completely different uh to something that maybe has been done for a long time or maybe that you know there's like there's definitely people who who know their stuff but you're actually coming in being able to teach them something and they've been doing this for such a long time. And they're like, wow, I, I honestly never looked at it that way. I never saw that side of it. That's really cool. But yeah, you're finding something here that even people who are like mature in this field haven't seen before, haven't looked at before. 
and you're actually teaching them something, even though you may be uh, less experienced in this um, particular area, but it's like you found something. You found something that they didn't see. You, you see something that, that others don't see in this. You see something different, and that's what you're bringing to the table, and that's why, it, that's why your dream, it's like your dream is coming true because you, you are able to almost advance this field or bring something completely different to the table that's going to guarantee your success. That it's just like, wow, oh my God, yeah, like I love this. This is going to expand um, this field or this subject or whatever this is um, into a new way, into a new direction. Yeah, this is really, really cool. It's like you see something others don't see. Pretty neat. Okay, let's expand on this. And I feel like this is going to make you advance very quickly in this. Or for some of you too, it's like maybe you find something and you go to someone who, who's like matured in this field and you bring it to them and they're like, oh, this is that. And then they show you this like whole other aspect to this subject that like blows your mind and you didn't even know that this could be done. You didn't even know that this could, this could happen. And it's like, this is the thing I've been waiting for. This is the information. This is the exact yeah, thing that I needed in order to understand this, in order to move ahead with this, in order to like get to the next level with this. So it's feeling like a dream is coming true. It's feeling like you're getting that piece of information. You're getting that nugget that you needed in order to make this happen. So there's that as well. And maybe, yeah, maybe you were guided to something and you were like curious about it. And then you show it to someone and they're like, oh yeah, that's, that's this. And you're like, oh shit. Okay. Okay. So you have the five of earth here, five of pentacles. Okay. And then you have Yule, which is... I believe this is this death. Yeah, you will. This is death, which is a very fascinating depiction of death. Because Yule is like Christmas, right? And then there's a bunny underneath, which is a symbol of abundance and fertility. And death is a sim. It's a. Um, it's a card of transformation, of big transformation, because that's what I believe this is saying. It's like this is a. It's like coming from winter, but it's like being reborn here. They're, they have a bundle of sticks, it looks like. So maybe about to build a fire, there's the sun coming up behind. So maybe you've, you've, you're finding some information that is like making a new day for you. This is a huge transformational um, piece of information or or thing that you've learned that you've found uh that someone may be teaching you something like that but it is like changing everything it's kind of breaking you out of this like cold dark maybe time where maybe it's like you've been waiting or you've been like trying things and it hasn't been working and it's like this is the thing that like busts open that melts the ice that it's like here it is like finally this is it this is what i can run off of this is where i can go this is what i needed to know in order to accomplish this in order to like yeah like break me out of this old cycle break me out of this like feelings of lack or not having enough or it's like there's some piece of information you're finding you may be bringing it to someone and they help you out with this i'm just gonna put this on here so these don't fly away and then we finally have the nine of air which is the nine of swords 
which yeah I can talk about maybe you've been in a in a state of like mental anxiety worry that is this going to come is this piece of information going to come and this is saying this is saying in order to get what you need in order to achieve what you want to achieve it takes it will take sacrifice um it will take you know there's some kind of sacrifice in order to to get what you want and um and that's the same kind of with winter as well it's like we sacrifice the warmth we sacrifice um you know the the green the leaves on the trees in order to go into this state of of rest of rejuvenation but then we come out of it and i feel like maybe you've been in in that state of of sacrifice of like of not of not being where you want of not having what the things you want of not like achieving what you want to achieve but this it's like you find something and maybe even comes in like it's like you kind of have to sneak or like it's not really allowed or it's not really like um accepted or like you kind of find it maybe in a weird way but whatever it is this is like helping you break out of this this time of of yeah not getting what you want or not having this is like transforming everything and i want more information yeah it's like you have the queen of wands underneath so this is like finally coming into your power coming into your confidence um knowing what it is you want to create how to create it and like maintaining this fire maintaining this passion and i feel like that's what this is that's what this thing is it's like it's finally melting this cold icy energy this kind of dead uh maybe where where this idea wasn't able to grow or it wasn't able to flourish and it's like whatever this is that you're finding this information or maybe someone tells you something or teaches you something and you're like holy shit that's what i needed to in order to get this done in order to do this in order to bring this manifestation in i want to know more okay i'm just going to clarify these cards here this is very like interesting okay seven of swords Okay, you've got the six of pentacles. So yeah, it's like you're finding someone's maybe giving you some kind of information or some clue or maybe some physical gift in order for you to accomplish something. It's like maybe you get a bit of money or you get a bit of um, advice or someone gives you something. Um, yeah, and then it's like, oh, thank you. This is exactly, yeah, what I needed in order to, to do this. So the higher fit six of swords it allows you to move in the direction where you want to go it allows you to take the next step the step the crucial step that was needed in order to move in order to to get this done um to move away from maybe this lack or this period of of um where things weren't maybe working out or weren't moving it's like this whatever this is whatever this thing that you're being given or shown or you know something here it's allowing you to move into the direction you want to go. It's allowing you to finally cross that bridge, to finally get to a better place uh, in your career, in your money, where it's like, okay, things feel easier now. Things I'm starting to get a little bit of um, momentum. And, and yeah, cool. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, so you have Justice, Two of Wands and the hermit so yeah it's like whatever this is it's like it's coming in and it's allowing you to expand it's allowing you to um it's like it's balanced it's deserved um it's now the time for you to come out of this cold dead maybe nothing kind of energy to, and, and allows you to to expand maybe you wanted to travel or whatever it's like but you've learned all you've needed to learn from this stage from this cycle and now you're you're like being asked to expand here 
to go out to show off your skills like you have the hermit and the hermit has the star in his lantern and he has learned all of the wisdom that he's needed to learn he's learned all that is there is to learn in this stage in this period and now it's time to let the star out to to show off your skills to you know to shine brightly and this is saying yeah like go well you have the world in your hands like you can take this where you want to take this it's kind of up to you where you want to go but yeah it's like you may have to choose to to leave a something behind that's maybe gone dead or maybe it's like a place or um, a phase in your life that's kind of it's over with you're kind of you've you're moving on from this because there's nothing left to grow here there's nothing left to learn so now we are expanding we are going elsewhere or we are like leveling up ourselves because we are done in this certain stage or period okay death yeah so you have the Emperor and you have the Five of Pentacles. So this is saying you are transforming from feeling lack, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like an outsider, like I can't get my footing, like I can't get ahead. Um, and you are now, it's like taking the lead of your own life, taking the lead of this situation and getting yourself out of this. And this also talks about don't, um, don't call attention to your weaknesses. So don't call attention to your weaknesses. Like know that you have the skill, know that you have the confidence, you have the power, you have everything you need in order to do this, in order to push yourself out of this um, dead stage that's like dead, done, over with. There's nothing more for you to learn here, whether that's a emotional phase or that's like an actual place or whatever this is. But this is saying, take the lead and pull yourself out um, this information or this thing that you're getting, it's like take this and run and like go for it and go for the thing you want. Go to the place that you think will be best for you. Um, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, okay. So traditionally, the Nine of Swords is like a feeling of kind of like mental anxiety, being too much in your head, listening to the negative thoughts. Um, in this particular deck, it talks of sacrifice, but um, the Eight of Swords is here, which means that maybe you've been holding yourself back. Um, so maybe this is finally the catalyst that's, that's either just come in or is coming in this month to allow you to free yourself, to allow you to finally take the steps in order to, to break the bonds that have been holding you back. And it's really been you. It's been you all along. Like you need to know you have the confidence, you have the power, you have the skill in order to go after this. Um, and don't, don't hold back anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have the Empress, the Eight of Cups, and the Lovers. You have the creative ability. There's a creative project in you that is going to be born, that wants to be born, that wants to be brought out into the world and create abundance for you. You have the Eight of Cups, meaning you have to leave something behind. So it's an emotional phase, emotional state, or an actual physical place, but there is, some, there is nothing more for you here and you must leave. There's nothing more for you to learn. You have learned all that you need to learn in this um, maybe it's a behavior for some of you, maybe it's, you know, a physical place, but it could be just a mindset that you've had for a long time. It's not serving you anymore and you need to let go of it. You need to cut it out and move on. And when you move on, you're going to move on into balance, into the lovers, something that's much more um, meant for you, something much more balanced for you. It's going to open up choices for you um, and it will just seem a lot more aligned and balanced in your life and maybe even great better for your like relationships in your life um but yeah it's like abundance is waiting for you on the other side of and maybe that's part of the sacrifice here is is leaving leaving this kind of me mental state behind leaving this like oh i can't do this because of this or i don't have the resources so i can't do this it's like I feel like you're getting something this month that so you can no longer make those excuses and you're going to have to act. You're going to have to act. 
you're not going to be able to like fall back on these like, oh, I can't because of this or because I don't want to leave these people behind or it's like, no, no, no. Now it's like you have to go after what you are here to do. Like that is the most important thing. And that comes with sacrifice. That comes with leaving things behind or leaving old versions of ourselves behind. And that's just part of it. That's part of life. And that's part of making our dreams come true. And we have to accept that. And we have to grow. And and that's part of growth. And yeah, that's just it. So Leo, that is your career. It's looking fantastic. Like I think you're right on the cusp of something huge. And you're about to leave. You're about to go into a new phase, into a new cycle, into maybe a new actual place in order to uh, to realize your full potential. And this is needed in order for you to realize your full potential. Okay? And it's not, I no doubt is not easy, but definitely necessary, definitely needed because there's no more playing small. That's that's done dead done over with. You have you have a skill that no one else has. You have something unique that you can maybe teach others and they need to know about it. You're bringing something unique to the table and you need to go and get it. Okay. Sue. So, Let's look into your love and home life. Love and home life for Leo, please. It's one overarching arching card. Love and home life for Leo. Love and home life, one card, please. Love and home life. Okay, thank you. Amazing. Wheel of Fortune. So there's a big shift happening in your love and home life. Something that's meant to happen. Something that is destined. Um, and if it's like, if things have been kind of like wishy-washy or, you know, it's like there's big changes on the horizon. It's a kind of a card that's like, oh, okay. You have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So ultimate happiness, fulfillment, joy, like having that the beautiful, most beautiful relationship, something that feels amazing, supportive, like overwhelming joy. <laughs> so that is what is turning for you with this Wheel of Fortune in your love and home life is like way more fulfillment, satisfaction, just joy, I love, so much love. Wow. Can't get better than that in relationships. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Let's get a little deeper. So love and home life for Leo. Well, this just wanted to pop out. So we have the two of swords here. So maybe some indecision about, I mean, this could be indecision about, about where you want to live or, or wh what the next steps are in your relationship. But this could also just mean like taking more time for yourself, um, more time for some like quiet time for you, walks out in nature. Um, but yeah, let's, okay, this one wanted to come out. Okay, so you have the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you're deciding like where to spend your money, where to, um, like as a couple, where to kind of, maybe you've come into some money or something like that and you're like, I don't know, trying to make a decision as far as like, where we want to live or what we want to buy with this, what we want to use it towards. Um, and if you're single, this is like, yeah, maybe you've been solo for a while, but you're like, you want to share, you want to share your life. You want to share your belongings with someone. And it's like, maybe you're, you're, 
or you've been like, it's been hard for you to kind of decide what to do. Okay. Yeah, I just need some more information here. Okay, so we have judgment. So, yeah, there's definitely some kind of, like, purpose you're awakening to. Maybe you and your partner are have a, a connected purpose. Or maybe you're asking, you've been praying, like, please show me a sign as far as, like, where I need to, to land, like, where my home needs to be, where is the best place for me to be. And if you're single, it's the same thing. It's, like, where, where am I going to find my, you know, my love? Like, where is it? that is best for me to be? Where, what's the best environment for me to be in? Of the three of pentacles. So getting creative. Maybe you and your partner are getting creative together. Maybe you're creating some kind of project that's, like, it just feels good. Maybe you guys working together is a really good thing. You have the knight of chalices, which is the knight of cups. So maybe some kind of emotional offer coming in. Um, or maybe you'll be offering someone something. Maybe uh, you'll be getting asked out. Um, someone's coming that means well, that has their heart on their sleeve, that has like been dreaming for someone like you. Um, they've been hoping to find someone like you. Or maybe you found someone that you're like, mm, there's definitely potential here. I could see potential and you want to ask them out. Um, I see this as a very good thing. I see this as you guys could create something very beautiful together. And yeah, if you guys are in a relationship already, this is like, I feel like you guys, you know, doing, being creative together, working together on something is like really bringing you both closer together. Um, I feel like making you both more money um, allowing you guys to have more resources. And I think it's like, yeah, it's really bringing you guys closer together. Um, you have the queen of swords. So yeah, I feel like getting more clear on what it is you want in this relationship, maybe where this relationship is heading, um, getting, seeing more clearly as far as like where you want to take this, where this is heading, where you want to go. Uh, and yeah, if you're single, what you want out of this relationship, um, maybe, yeah, this offer, this person comes in with a, um, a, you know, an offer for you, like a date offer or an offer of just showing interest. And you're like pretty happy about it. You're like pretty stoked to, to explore it. And I would definitely explore this because it seems like a very good thing. They seem like they have their heart in the right place. Um, they mean well. Uh, and then you finally have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands talks about being a little maybe like hesitant just because that you've been through so much in the past. Is this real? Is this going to work out this time? Is this as truly good as it seems? Um, just because it's a bit of like wounded warrior energy where it's like, I've been through relationships in the past and it hasn't worked. And, you know, it's that kind of energy. Um but this is telling you that this time it's it's way more um, balanced. It's way more clear. You can see clearly that you can trust in this person. You can trust in how your heart's feeling. You can open up to this person. Um, it is what it seems it is, and not it's not a trick. It's not um, yeah. It's like this is this is meant to happen. This is a direction in which you're meant to take. This is a person in which you're meant to explore this with and possibly even work with. I mean, you have the Three of Pentacles right dead center in this reading. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, with judgment, it's like, it just seems that maybe you two have a path that's connected in some way. Maybe you're meant to create something physical on this earth, whether that just be a family, um, a homestead of some sort, or a actual business, creative project, something along those lines. 
that is actually going to give you a lot of gifts in this world. Um, yeah, but I see on both ends you have the Two of Swords, which is a bit of indecision, um, not being able to maybe you're like kind of going back and forth, I feel like, with the Nine of Wands where it's like you're looking in the, in the past, you're looking like it's been a struggle, it's been tough to get here, I don't know if I can trust this, I don't know if this is real this time, this is saying it is clear um, what you feel is true. It is real. You can trust it. Um, you can feel free to create um, kind of the world or the relationship or the, the family that, you, that you've been dreaming of. Um, so let's go deeper. of air so meditation is really going to help you get clear on um, actually how you're feeling so that you don't maybe sabotage unnecessarily something like that um, or maybe it's like you're like I'm not sure if I can trust it because you're looking into the past too much but this is telling you um, go within meditate and make sure you're aligned so that you know you don't you don't sabotage you don't um, mess with a good thing. Yeah, you have the two of air again, two of swords. So indecision, um, not being sure. And I really feel like it's because of your past. Not being sure if you can trust it, not being sure if this is it. You have the ten of fire, ten of wands, which talks about like, this is something that you're destined to experience. Uh, whether this relationship is something like if you're trying to decide if it's for you or not, it is definitely something that you're meant to experience in this life. You're meant to, um, to have. And I feel like the more you go within and you meditate, the more clear it will be. Like the, the kind of the fog will clear. Um, you have the six of, of fire, the six of wands, and this is Jupiter. Um, or sorry, this is Saturn. Saturn talks about there's nothing, nothing good comes without a little bit of a struggle, a little bit of a fight, a little bit of, you know, it's like it takes hard work in order to get something of quality, of something worthwhile. And it's saying like, and the six of wands, traditional tarot, is a similar message. It's saying you know, this is successful. You're finally, you are having success. You will have success in this relationship, in this thing, but it's not without a battle. It's not without a fight and any good love. And so it doesn't matter what people say. They'll say, oh, love is so easy. And it's like, of course, there's moments that are easy and it, it's going to feel comfortable and that's a good thing, but it, the, it's not without a great, you know, struggle and fight at times. And that's just real. That's just how it is. It's like anything worthwhile, anything good comes with work and it's going to be work. And, you know, you guys have to iron out those differences and iron out, you know, those, there's going to be arguments. There's going to be differences. You're both coming with, you know, past experiences and conditioning that you both have to go through together. And that's just saying, it's like, you may feel like indecisive at times whether this is good or this is not good um, but this is saying it is actually meant for you um, and to explore it and to not get turned off when it's work to not like to just go automatically into no I this isn't this can't be for me because it's too hard it's like look it's hard because that your partner's a mirror or this person who's coming into your life, they're a mirror. And so I feel like a lot of you know there's someone, and maybe this is not a romantic partner, but there's definitely a person in your life who may challenge you. And this is just saying that they're challenging you because you're meant to learn something deep, deeply about yourself from this person. And not to say don't, it's not to confuse like abuse. I'm not condoning that. I'm not saying stick it out for that. But I'm saying someone who just challenges your 
your views or like what you've thought for so long or just challenges you on a on a level where you're like wow or it feels they're like why they do that and it's like okay they're either testing your patience it's something you need to learn here that's all i'm saying okay and you have the four of air uh which is the four of swords this particular four of swords talks about receiving omens receiving messages uh being open to seeing these signs from the universe that it's like maybe when you're thinking about your relationship or you're thinking about this person, it's like you see 444, you see 111, you see a, a certain animal cross your path or there's just some synchronicities that you can't explain with this person. This is saying listen to those, follow those. When you're in doubt, ask for a sign, ask for a synchronicity, ask for a message. It will show up. You just have to be uh, aware and you have to be paying attention and then look into, oh, I just saw a skunk. I just saw, you know, a turtle and look into what those mean. I mean, you have the signs and you have animals. So clearly animals may be trying to talk to you, trying to send you signs. So if you're seeing the same animal a couple times, look into what that means. It's, it's a message for you, even if it's on the Internet. There's a message there for you. Uh, and then you finally, you have the world, you have a successful outcome, a successful completion, a, you know, this is feeling like I've, I've done what I've needed to do. I've accomplished what I needed to do. So this is like a successful completion. And you had the 10 of cups with this relationship or with this home, you know, love life or just relationship in your life. This is saying it will create you as a more whole being in the end. And that doesn't come without challenge. That doesn't come without, you know, your opposite is going to do that to you. And it's going to make you a better person overall. It's going to make you a more whole you, um, a better version of yourself and of that other person. You know, that is the, the ultimate outcome is that if it's too easy, then we don't learn anything. We don't, we don't actually grow or expand. And that's what this is saying is that, I think you guys are meant to challenge each other to create something very unique, to create something bigger than yourselves here. And so really go within, really meditate uh, to become clear uh, and, and ask for signs uh, so that you're, you know, you're not always going back and forth, which is so normal. Like even when you're in a, a long-term relationship, you've been with the person for years and you'll still have those doubts. They'll do something and you'll be like, I don't know. I don't know about them. <laughs> you know, of course. But it's like, but you always have to come back to the love. You always have to come back to, do I love this person? Am I willing to put in the work to make it work out? Do I love them to the point where I want to continue? I want to know more. I want to change this part of me, change part of myself so that I can... Uh, so that we can grow together in a new way. Because if we're just like, no, I'm good, I'm perfect the way I am, and I don't need to grow, I don't need to do anything, okay, well then you're not gonna grow. You're not gonna change. It's like, you're not always, we're not perfect beings by any means. And I'm not saying that you're, you're, you're not amazing the way you are, because you are, but, I mean, change is a part of life and we're meant, it's like, we're, we, we're not all perfect. Like, and, you know, perfection is not a, I wouldn't say that's like a goal or something we can even attain. But there is, there are behaviors that we all carry that are unhealthy. Or there's projections that we, that we you know, spill out onto our other that is, is not nice. It's not fair. And there are things about us that they can show us that we need to improve, that we can improve, that make us a better human being, that just make us, you know, and makes us feel better within ourselves. And they're there to help us do that. And so we have to be open to change. And especially with fixed signs, I, I know how you feel. I have two fixed signs in my chart, uh, my main three. Two of them are fixed. And no, Leo is a fixed sign. So we, you know, a lot of times we feel we are right. We feel that we don't need to change anything. That is, you know, that is not true. That is what they're there for us for in order to, you know, help us um, grow, evolve. And that's what we're here to do. Okay. So <laughs> this is a great relationship. And if you're not in this relationship, someone will come in soon to give you an offer and don't, and even if they're not like, at first you're like, I didn't like how they did that or 
that was weird. I'm not used to that. Or, like, they challenged me, and I didn't like that. It's like, okay, just stay open. Stay open-minded and, and, you know, allow them in to show you maybe something different. Something you're not used to. Because it seems like you should give this person a chance. Because, yeah, they could, they could turn your world into something completely different that you haven't experienced before. Um, it's something maybe you needed um, in order to have that life or in order to, to grow on a new level. So I'm just saying, just keep it, keeping it open. Okay. So let's open the floor to spirit so they can give you a message specific to you that you need to hear right now. So spirit, let's give them a message they need to hear. So give them one card for their overarching, arching, I don't know how to say that word, energy. I want to say arcing. So one card, please. Thank you. Okay, so you have the chariot. So definitely movement, lots of movement. Maybe moving away from a place like this. The chariot is a guy who is taking what he needs with him and he's moving away from a city. He is moving away from a place that maybe isn't helping him anymore isn't appreciating him anymore and so he's having a journey he's going somewhere where he is treated you know that is better for him and maybe it's not the city i mean that could be a specific message for someone but this is also just saying like you are on your way to achieving something you are on your way to a victory to a goal um so yeah it's like it's there is definitely some kind of movement towards a victory here um could could have to do with leaving some place behind because you did have that in your career as well. Okay, can we please get more information on this message? Okay, yeah, you have the hangman. So gaining a new perspective on something, uh, maybe you've been in this energy for a while, um, kind of a solid, like a solitude type energy, or maybe in a place of, of gaining a new perspective, learning something new, um, gaining new insights, gaining some enlightenment about something, or, you know, I mean, she's doing yoga, so like, yeah, may possibly... Just, yeah, becoming centered. and But, yeah, I do feel like maybe you've been in a place for a while. You've learned what you've needed to learn. You've gained all of the wisdoms from this place or from this state. And now it's time for movement. King of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like gaining stability. Gaining more... Um, physical money but also wisdom and it's like you've definitely matured you have definitely learned and matured i feel like as much as you can from this area you've gained what you needed to gain you're now a better person for it a more wise person for it Okay, I'm going to, let's get some more information, and then I might clarify. Okay, that's like too many. Sorry. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you have the star. Moving towards your dreams, your goals. Uh, you have a very specific dream in mind. You have... Something that, that's going to bring you stability, that you want to bring stability, that maybe you have some kind of something different to bring to the table. You have some like unique perspective and you have the three of air, which is the three of swords, which is saying maybe you've learned from your past disappointments. Um, you 
Yeah, it's like I feel like you've been looking at yourself in the mirror. You've been like during this time of maybe pause or reflection. It's like you've been really looking at yourself. What is it that I can change? What can I improve? What is it that I want? Where's the direction I want to go? And you have the star, which is like a clear guiding light. I have hope. I have this is what I want. This is my 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 dream. And this is what I want to move towards. And I really feel like you are moving towards that. Okay, can we let's clarify the hangman here. Yeah. Two of Wands. Realizing that you've you've come as far as you could in a certain situation and now you want to expand. Now you want to go elsewhere. I've accomplished something here. I've built something here. I'm, you know, happy about that, but now I have outgrown my situation and I want to expand. I want to go somewhere else. Um, and maybe that's just a physical state for you. Maybe that's just like, okay, I've come as far as I can in this mindset or whatever. And now I need to grow. And you have, yeah, king of wands at the bottom. It's like taking charge, having that, that, laser-like focus on your passions, on your dreams, and accomplishing them. And he is a, a one of the best manifesting kings uh, because he is fire, because he is like action. He is creative action. Okay, king of pentacles. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. So definitely like finding balance in multiple areas of your life. Um... And this is also a card of like work hard, play hard. And I feel like this card also, oh my gosh, <laughs> you have the king of pentacles again, clarifying the king of pentacles. So I really feel like there's two areas of your life that are improving. There's two of your areas of your life that are leveling up that with this expansion, I feel like that's what that's going to help you do is like level up your money, level up your stability, level up your, your wisdom and your like practical matters in your life as far as which would be money, home life. Um, but also you have, I mean, you have the two of pentacles, which is like you're balancing two things. It's just going to balance out. I feel like home and money, home and career. It's like that's what this expansion is going to do. It's really going to help you balance life a little easier, be a little more stable, um, find your footing, and then being able to, to build up something for yourself as far as like uh, a career, a home, a, you know, um, a place that is yours, a place that feels good, that feels comfortable, that I can, you know, I can flourish here. Okay, star. The devil. So following your dreams, following your dreams, even if you're scared, even if everything in you is telling you, is like putting doubts in your mind, uh, even if that's yourself, it's like putting doubts in your mind. It's like, you no, know, follow your dreams, even if you're scared, even if it doesn't seem logical, even if it doesn't seem practical. It's like, follow your, your guiding light, follow your star. I want to get one more on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, instead of like looking at where you're at or your dreams with like, oh, I can't do this or disappointment. It's like, no, celebrate them. Celebrate them. Go after them. This is a, uh, a happy time. These are good things to, to have dreams, um, to have these things that you want to accomplish. It's like, don't look at them as negative. It's like, look at them as something to strive for, as something to go after and appreciate them. Um, appreciate these, you know, there are opportunities out there for you and you just have to take them. You just have to, to go after them, to grab them and it's not like, not just dream about them and wish you could have them, but like thinking it's not attainable. It's like, no, you need to, you need to go after them. You need to pick them in your hand and you need to celebrate them. You need to appreciate them. You need to go after them and enjoy them. Three of swords. Mm-hmm. It's like turn 
maybe there's been some disappointments in your past of like of going after something and it didn't work out but this is saying it's going to work out there is a huge opportunity here to have happiness to have this fulfillment in this in this idea it's like it's not going to break your heart it's going to you're going for victory you're going for something stable this time it's like you just need to follow it you need to go after it it is more balanced now you have more balance you do, the energy is going to be reciprocated what you're putting into it it's going to give it back to you and this is saying you just have to start you have to take this new beginning with excitement with curiosity but take this new new start this new beginning um, and follow where is curious follow what is is interesting to you and that's where you're going to find this this beautiful new beginning um, filled with love filled with opportunity um, yeah pretty pretty cool so you know it's even if, if things haven't worked out in the past that's not something to to predict your future this is saying no there are new cycles now you have to just expand in a way that that your curiosities are leading you and that's going to lead to your your stability it's like you do have to move you have to go you have to take action you have to leave something behind or you just have to to move in the direction of your dream uh to not let your fear hold you back or stop you um past disappointments don't let them get in the way you have to take it in your hands take control and and be grateful that you have these dreams that you have these opportunities and take them okay leo that was your reading my friends thank you so much for coming to your reading today it was a pleasure reading your energy and i hope to see you on the next one um if you would like a more well-rounded view of your november look at your sun moon and rising signs as well so that will give you yeah a more well-rounded view and i hope to see you on the next reading so thank you so much for coming all of my love peace